Hi, we've got an awesome video for you tonight, but first, don't forget to give us a big old thumbs up, because everyone likes a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Tonight, we're doing an awesome record review. We had a great special guest, and we have tonight Just Price Final Records, and guess what? They're awesome! Aliens. So we got a record to review. That's right. Let's see what they all think about it. It's ELO, El Dorado. Somebody recommended it on our... YouTube channel yet last night. Let's see what they think. I highly doubt they've ever listened to it. I've listened to it several times. You know this record. I, I know the band. That's right. Doo -doo -doo -doo. What's it look like? Rock. It's well, you know rock. it. You know it's classic rock. Yeah. But what does that look like? Oh, from Wizard of Oz. That's right. You're off to see the wizard. All right, what do you think? I was thinking more do 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 I was thinking more of the house falling on the witch. Yeah. 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 And, you know, the other witch showing up and do 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 So we're going to review that one today. Okay. Good luck. Have you ever listened to this one? No, but I'm thinking it's going to be a musical journey. Mm. Because. It's a know, symphony. It's a symphony and Dorothy took a journey. So if they use Dorothy going to be a journey it's a whole concept album i think you know what i think what aliens okay it's right green freaking aliens okay so tonight we are reviewing el dorado el dorado by electric light orchestra elo oh, at the oh. request of one of our subscribers on youtube we have subscribers yes we do we have a bunch of them no Maybe way six thousand do they actually like me yes well, me well uh, possibly. <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> mm. But this is one of the few records that they suggested that we had. All right. Open all in right. Stock. What'd you think of it? I, I personally liked it. It's not Nostra record. Nostra mm. record. It's more of a, if you're trying to go to bed type record, trying to relax, it's more of a sleeping record. <laughs> it will put you to sleep? Yes. What? I, I own a few times. But it's not bad. It's not a bad record. It's just... Not really a store record. Yeah. Well, what about you? Unfortunately, it is definitely not store music. The two times that we played it in the store, the customers did not seem to like it. They kind of left. But I was right. It was a journey. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It definitely was a journey. You are correct about that. Yeah. I, I definitely agree with the cover of the record. It, de it definitely fits it. Alice in Wonderland? Mr. Boss. Mr. Boss. Well, that was close. <laughs> all right. All right. So, um, with... El Dorado Overture, uh -huh. it starts off and it's really dark and menacing and you're waiting for like thunder to start crashing or like the house to crash down. And what? yeah, so it was, it was really cool. But then it was almost like a game of tag or hide and go seek. Like it got happy and there was this instrument and then this instrument. It was really cool. It was definitely an orchestra. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Definitely hear that violin. So I thought my favorite song was going to be the second song, which is Can't Get It Out of My Head. Okay. Because I really couldn't get it out of my head. Really? I thought I like the song was running through my head through the entire first side. But then I heard Illusions in G Major and I was like, that's my favorite song. All right. Interesting. Did you have a least favorite song? Um, uh, I think my least favorite song was probably Nobody's Child. Okay. Which is right here. Because it felt like a disco song. It sounded like a disco song, but a slow disco song. It was like wrong disco. I, okay. I don't know how else to describe it. Was it was wrong disco. Wrong, wrong disco. Disco. disco Inferno. It's burning because it's wrong. It, it, huh? I do, it was like, it was disco, but... And a disco beat, but it was too slow. It was weird. All right. Yeah. Did you have a favorite song? Yes, I like I like Mr. Kingdom. Mr. Kingdom. It reminded me of Mr. Blue Sky. Not it wasn't like quite like that song, but it reminded me of it. And I really like that song by them. All right. All so. right. Now, what genre of music would you classify this as? It's definitely symphonic rock. Yeah. Definitely. Or orchestra rock. All right. <laughs> All right. You are correct. They did amazing things with especially the string instruments. And there were so many different chord progressions. It was it was great. It just unfortunately wasn't star music. But huh. it made you think, and it was a really big journey, and a lot of the songs are very contemplative. So it's like you're thinking as you're going on your journey. Aliens. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, what about you? What about me? What about you? What about me? <laughs> yeah, what about you? <laughs> what about me? El Dorado. <laughs> I, I like that. Would you add it to your collection? 
Yes, it's something that I would have. It's not something I listen to all the time. When you're tired, you would put it on. Well, I fall asleep to metal. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. should you should come to my room sometime at night, man. Um, no, I'm not gonna come in your room sometime at night. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? <laughs> but yeah, that that's a little weird. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. So scale one to ten, what do you rate the album? Five. I thought it was literally right in the middle. I didn't like it. I didn't dislike it. I thought it was well, a five right. is kind of like a failure. Well, it was... Uh, zero, uh, <laughs> For ELO, I don't know, man. I guess it's a six, because... Well, five, five. I understand a five. I do. What about you? I gave it a six, because I did enjoy it, but there's no way I'd listen to it all the time. And it's definitely not star music. No. Is it the devil's music? No. Six, six, six! No, it's not the devil's music. No. It's just... Okay. I had to check, you know. I mean... It, it didn't. It didn't move fast enough. I just, I, I, I liked it, but I didn't like love it. You all know? Right. All so. Right. so I gotta say, this is not my favorite ELO record of all time, no. by far. But it does have some good qualities to it. it does. Like you said, it, it does all flow together, mm -hmm. which is very nice. Yes. Would you recommend this album? Ah. Uh, I don't, I, there's other ELO albums that I would recommend way before yeah. this one. Yeah? Yeah, same. Yeah. All right, all right. So it does not get the stamp of approval of Spin Me Round. Uh, but it would go in her okay. collection. It, it would go on mine. It's just not an everyday record. It's more yeah. of a once a month record. You yeah. know what it is? I have it in my collection. Yeah. So it's kind of like, eh, it's not one I play mm -hmm. ever. Yeah. But I do have it. You know, I mean, I collect the ELO. Would you like to know some? Facts and yeah. interesting stuff while I get my trusty paper. Would love to. All right. There's, there's a lot of facts on ELO, so I tried to cut them down and make it a bare minimum. ELO was an English rock band formed in 1970. Okay. Simple enough, right? There are three eras of ELO. The original band, which formed in 1970. And then in 1982, the band broke up and formed ELO 2. Okay. Oh. Okay. And then Jeff Lynn's ELO in 2014 to the present day. Oh. So, and Jeff Lynn was the band leader. Yeah. Him and another dude, the other dude left a couple years after it started and there was a big conflict, yada, yada, yada. See how I just skipped all that? Oh, <laughs> Beautiful. The original ELO was actively touring and recording for 14 years. Oh. They sold over 50 million albums, had 27 top 40 songs in the UK single charts, and 15 top 20 songs in the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. Cool. Wow. That's what I'm saying, man. Wait, wait until I get to the facts of this record, and you're going to understand. This record was not their greatest work, but it, it it does work for them. Just just wait for it. Let's see. The original member of ELO was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2017. Woo! I figured you'd like that fact. I always love them. <laughs> they have a total of... 14 studio albums and 33 music videos. Hmm, what's that? It's a lot of music videos. That's a lot of music videos. Yeah, All right, now we're on to El Dorado facts. The, this is their fourth studio album released in 1974. Okay. All right. El Dorado was ELO's first complete concept album, which the band leader, Jeff Lynn, conceived before he wrote any of the music. So he thought about this whole thing. So he wanted it to, he knew what he wanted it to do, but he had to write the music to make it do what he wanted it to do. Yes. Yeah. It's a concept album. Makes mm -hmm. sense though. Interesting, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to give him a lot of credit for that one. I thought it was going to be an entire concept album. Can't Get It Out of My Head was the only hit song on this album, but they did release an edited version of Boy Blue, but the single didn't chart anywhere. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. Told you, you really can't get it out of your head. You really can't. Yeah. This album is certified gold. It oh. quickly went gold and then just flattened out. Well, of course, El Dorado, City of Gold. Now, you ready for an interesting fun fact that's mm -hmm. pretty freaking weird, considering it has a Wizard of Oz theme on the front cover and everything else. You ready for this one? <laughs> this album was made into a soundtrack in 1978 for the film Inauguration of the Pleasure Dome. So, they turned that movie, mm -hmm. this is their soundtrack for it. So, uh -huh. he came up with the concept for the album, and then he wrote the album, and then someone heard the album and decided they were going to make a movie based on the album. 
I guess. Cool. I've never seen the movie personally. I don't know what it's about, but it's a Pleasure Dome, so I may have to watch it tonight. It's Pleasure Dome. I mean, come on. I mean, that's just kind of interesting. It, you know, like... I know. That's... Yeah. So it has like a whole theme going on here, mm -hmm. and then there's a whole real actual yeah, soundtrack to that movie. Mm -hmm. Isn't that strange? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It's Aliens. Like, it's like, hmm, I wonder, what, what's the movie like? Yeah, we have to watch it now. Do you see why every time an ELO record comes, I do say Aliens, though? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because Jeff Lynn is like, crazy freaking dude. He's an alien. I could totally do Jeff Lynn fun facts, but what for? Do -do 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 -do. Hope you like this. Leave us a comment down below on what you thought. Yeah. Let us know what you think of ELO and El Dorado. And what do you think their best album is out of the blue? Gotta go. So I'm here with a very special guest who has thankfully been in my store before, Winston. Hello, oh. I'm Winston. Back again. <laughs> oh my God, fell off. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. Spectacular, Winston. Oh, you Good you job. are terrific. So, I see you're a Star Trek fan. Oh, yeah. I love Star Trek. La, 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 la. <laughs> what was your favorite incarnation of Star Trek? Uh, I like the original, and I like Voyager, and I like Enterprise, and I like uh, Next Generation, and I like the new movies. I like all of them. But, but what about Deep Space Nine? That was my favorite. I, I love Deep Space Nine. I keep losing my mask. Oh, I know. These masks. Okay, cool. They're a pain. Okay. Thank you so much, Winston. We Thank appreciate you. You have such a wicked awesome store. I love it. It's so cool in here. It's like a candy store for records. It's wicked cool. I hope you don't eat records. No. I eat candy. I eat candy. I eat candy too. Do you eat candy? I eat lots of candy. Yeah. Way too much candy. Right. So, Winston, do you have a favorite genre of music? Uh, let's see. I like uh, folk, country, rap, uh, rock, rock and roll, heavy metal. Uh, I like, uh, let's see, uh, American, um, the classics. The American uh. song book. Yeah. Great American song book. Wicked awesome. Wow. Awesome. He has a wide range, doesn't yes, he? Yes, yes. Very eclectic taste, Winston. Very eclectic. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you have a particular favorite artist? Uh, Steve Martin. Yeah, he's wicked cool. Yeah, the whole Rat Pack is wicked cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time, Winston, to talk to us. Thank and you. I'm so happy that you came in today, and I hope you have a great day. Come into Timmy Round Ricky. It's wicked hard Yeah. Did we sell any of these 45s today, man? Look what they did to my table. Yes, yes we did. They pushed nice. everything. They pushed every single thing we forward. Go man, I can't even fix them right. Many people look, look at this. 45s today. There's a lot of 45s here. They were very popular. Man, see? Very popular. They're beating up my 45s, man. I'm beating them up myself. All right, all right. I still got these three inches for the little turntables. Aliens. What you got? We have a few of tonight's Just Price Final Records. And they're awesome. They're so awesome. Do you know why they're so awesome? Because I see you got docking Nightmare on Elm Street. I do. And I have a docking fun fact. What? Did you know that they were in the first class of nominees for Best Metal Performance? Really? Yes. I got a docking fun fact too. Yeah? Did you know Nightmare on Elm Street scared the crap out of me when I was young? That's a docking fun fact? It is now. <laughs> was was it Nightmare One, on Elm Street? One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Yeah, you know anything about that? Not really. Oh man, we should totally put on Freddy and she'll never sleep again. Was it Nightmare on Elm Street 3 or was it the original Nightmare on Elm Street? They all scared the crap out of me. Freddy's new my nightmare? That was awful. There was awful. one, there was one where this girl was working out. Uh huh. And she's lifting weights and she's, she's laying down bench pressing. Uh huh. And her arms turn into like Sweet. alien arms. It's freaking gross, man. Gross. <laughs> it's right. Oh, man. There's so many good scenes in there. Oh, oh we've got oh. Michael W. Smith. And guess what? He, he was, was live. live. He was live. I just knew that. Queen. Nice. And we got another queen. And I have a fun fact. You have a queen fun fact? Yes, I do. All right. Did you know that? Hand up. All right. And I have a fun fact. Did you know that Queen's Greatest Hits 
in the UK, it sold more copies than the Beatles, and it sold more copies than Oasis with their albums. I call baloney. I read it in a couple different places. Really? Yes, that was more popular and sold more albums. Then which Beatles album? I'm not exactly sure. I said the Beatles. <laughs> All right, so she had half of a fun yeah, fact, half guys. A fun fact. Half a if fun fact. If you can correct this, that'd be cool. Yeah, man, that, was, that wasn't even right, man. Shit, you know what? You gotta do more than thirty seconds of research. I Boom. Did, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got Via Africa. Okay. Rush. There you go. Finally, some Rush. Spooky tooth. Spooky tooth. Oh yeah? yeah, I got some spooky teeth, man. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, and you agree. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I like that Mel mouth. <laughs> wow, okay, Mel. Yeah, there you go. I like that one. Lori Anderson, Big Science. All right. As Gold Sam Promo. Eric Burton and the Animals. Nice. Elvis Costello. Van Halen. All right, drive her down. Joan Jett. Joni Mitchell. Masters of Metal. All right, we've had this one like 92,000 times. I know, isn't that awesome? That's good. Just keep coming back. It I loves know. us. I know. It loves us. Mm. Imagine that steam copy over and over again. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> why, why can't like King Diamond love us, man? I know. Or, right. Human, Human League. League. Little Feet. Tony Bennett. That's right. Simple Minds. Super Shrimp. And guess what? They were live! They were live! In Paris. In Paris? Yeah, at the Arc de Triomphe. Do you know what about an Arc de Triomphe? It sounds cool. Mmm. Sounds like a Holy Grail. Yes. Sounds like it'd be an Indiana Jones movie. No, it's the Ark to Triumph. It's the ar it's the arch that they built, you know, because they were triumphant. Indiana Jones in the cradle of triumphant. Let's <laughs> keep it going. Humble pie. The Corgis, Dumb Waiters. That's me. Jeff Beck. <laughs> Jay and the Americans. What? That's Jay and the Americans. Yes, it's Jay and the Americans. Hey mom, if you want that one, you gotta let me know because I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. It doesn't look like aliens. I got a very important question. What's that? Is my song, is my song on there? Come a little bit closer. Come on. Oh, look at these pretty dudes. And there I you go. Smiles. No, your song is not on here. Man. I, the learning Got to fly. Learning okay. how to fly is on here. That's a good one. All right. See, I'm going to do my homework on this one. That's why I'm taking so long on that one. Yeah. What you got next? Cap Stevens. Steve Miller Band. Fly like an eagle. That was on this morning on the radio. I know. 10CC. The Dream Academy. There's not so many promos in here. <laughs> yes, and it's a little sand promo. The Rolling Stones. Buddy Holly. Gary Booker. Jude Cole. Resurrection Band. Resurrection Band. Resurrection Band. There you go. That's some holy stuff right mm -hmm. there. Mmm. Mm. They were playing while Jesus... No, never mind. Oh. <laughs> Simply Red. <laughs> Excellent. Are you Speedwagon? New Riders of the Purple Sage. Steppenwolf. You know what's on that one? What's on this one? Born to be. <laughs> and I know they all hate it when I still like, why can't you pick a different song? Because <laughs> I'm. Born to be wild. That's right. That's yeah. right. And watch, they're going to be like, it ain't even on that one. <laughs> Donovan. Donovan. <laughs> Heart. Ooh, Barracuda. Rock Pile. The best of Tommy James and the Shondells. You know what's on here? What's on there? Crimson and Clover. Over and over. The original? Yes. Yeah. They they actually wrote the original. Yeah, yeah they did. Yeah. Joan Jett then I I thought she did, yeah. but she didn't. Chris Who's better? Over, over and over. They're both honestly really good. I could go with either. It's honestly a tie. They're, wow. both, they're both fantastic. And she is a Joan Jett fan, so yeah. that's I love Joan saying Jett. pretty much. Oh, so Joan Jett's gonna get some sweet revenge. From that dude. <laughs> David what? Johansson. You guys all set up. <laughs> no, I didn't. Rick Springfield. Richard. Mar yep. Marks. Marks. Survivor. I will survive. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Giles Band. Love stinks. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> James and Starship. Everly Brothers. Wings. Rick Derringer. Guess what? They he were was live. live. He was live. He was. He was. On a four-way street. No. Oh. Ann Murray. Marvin Gaye. Here, my dear. Awesome. Is it? Two LPs. Really clean. Really exciting. All right. I can't wait to take it home. Ha ha. American Dream. Whoa. A Aquarian Dream. Yeah. That's a Q. Aquarian Dream. She's exotic. Mm hmm. Kind of like her. And I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about that one over there. <laughs> <laughs> the Flamingo. Carly Simon. 
the Association, Rupert Holmes, Warren Zevon. And that's a 12 inch single. <laughs> uh, Southside Johnny. Johnny. Yeah. Laura Branigan. Dean Martin. Oh, look at this pimp. Dean Martin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's in bed with ten ladies. I got one thing to say. What's that? That's a good day. <laughs> that's what you're gonna say. That's a big bed. No, no, that's a good day. Uh, uh, I'm just saying. Chris. Cha, cha 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 cha. Dream, Dream girls. girls. More American Graffiti. Frank Sinatra. Frankie baby. And more Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Where's my Sammy Davis Jr. in here? Tobiko Jones. Ace Cannon. <laughs> hey, we, we had half the rat pack. I want the other half. We've got the Miracle City of Angels. Now, this is supposed to be a gatefold. I don't think this counts as a gatefold. What? It's like an envelope fold. They chopped off her. What? It's like an envelope That's a fold. bad day. <laughs> and then she got some pimps on her dress? Uh-huh. Man, that is a bad day. <laughs> I got to agree. Patrick Hernandez. Disco Italiano. Disco El Pizza. Don't burn my pizza man. Don't burn my pizza man. I don't know. Don't burn the pizza man or the pizza. <laughs> yeah, man. whatever. Fat back band. <laughs> There's or, flames. I'm, I'm going to release a, <laughs> a lyric video. Oh, and then we got average white band that is water to put out the flames. Oh, man. You know pizza. what she missed? You know what? what she missed? What she missed? Being in bed with Dean Martin. <laughs> Just saying. I just, what is she reaching for? I can't, like, I don't see yeah, it. Yeah, because phones weren't really a thing back then. She dropped the soap, man. She's getting help from another lady. I don't know. I can't tell Because the like hand's this. painted, and it looked like a very feminine hand. Yeah. <sighs> but you never know. Yeah. It's all right. Gladys Knight and the Pips. Yeah. Asleep at the Wheel. That's me. <laughs> Dave <Dayton>. Sugar. <laughs> She's laughing over here like, you better not be. Salt and Pepper. All right. Soul to Soul. Stevie B. Where's my sister at, man? This is her stuff. And more Stevie B. That's right. And another Stevie B. And then and we Stevie got Stevie B. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Christmas in Monks. That's right. Christmas in July. Oh, and then we've got Rich Girl. La 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 la. I'd have all the money in the world. The poop song. Rapper's no. Delight. All right. Sugar Hill Gang. And then get hey, away. Hey, you. Put, you put out a 12 inch single. <laughs> That's right. Buy it now. It's very uh, limited. She put out one. I was going to say, I wasn't born yet, but I was eight. Because that's all we had. Man, you're eight. She had a record. Damn. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. You were in like a uh, kid's pop. Huh? <laughs> all right. Now pick something out. You got 20 seconds. Okay. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. I'm going to stop counting because that's annoying as hell. Yeah. All right. We got some punk, man. We're in the... Peace for pump. I don't know. Can't see much in there. It's too full. I gotta empty some of this stuff. Or I'm gonna actually build new shelves soon. Ah, rainbow. There you go. Some rainbow. Yeah, some Ramstein. Oh, I gotta get some David Lee Roth in here. I can't believe we sold all that. Some scorpions. Oh man, join the Facebook group if you haven't, turkeys. A lot of things going on over there. It's been kind of cool. Got a bunch of people. It's kind of wild. You'll like it, trust me. So if you do the whole Facebook thing, you might want to join over there. I think it's about 20 seconds. What do you guys think? Oh, oh wow, they're already back. All right, all right, what you got? My Chemical Romance. My Chemical Poop Pants. Beautiful, what's your favorite song on here? Demolition Lovers. Mmm, what's it about? That's just a faster song. All right, it's it got to be either about vampires or zombies, man. Uh, Sky, Skylines and Turnstiles. That was the first song that they wrote, and Dry Ray wrote, wrote about 9-11 because he watched the tower fall. Ah, what you got? I've got Santana with Buddy Miles, and guess what? They were alive, they were alive! Oh, no. What? Yeah. All right. So, in the comment section, because I can't do this on top of the screen no more, <sighs> let us know who won this poll. Was it My Chemical Romance or Santana? Damn. All right, I'm out of here. Know what I haven't shown off in a long time? What? No, what? Funko Pops. Ah. Yeah. Hydro Man. What the heck is going on with that dude? Ooh, next to Captain Marvel. And we've been selling a lot of Hello Kitty Pops lately. Not Iggy Pop. Hello Kitty Pop. Adventure Time Minecraft. Very cool. Marilyn Manson. Some uh, Iron Maiden guys. Yeah, I got four of them. Suckers, Def Leppard, of course. 
Gotta have all of them. Slayer. Venom. We even got the Loot Llama, the ginormous Loot Llama. Uh, Zoltar you've seen before. Pez Girl. What in the heck? Then we got some over here too. We got this, the Office Sticky Man Note thing. Yeah. All right, Mortal Kombat. Jackie Kennedy. Apex Legends, we sold a bunch of. Oh man, my favorite video game, Mortal Kombat. They set the alarm. I gotta go, I gotta fix these, all these underneath. Ooh, the Arrhythmics. I might be here for a while. Oh, I don't got a while. Oh man, they're already in the back. Aliens, doo 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 doo. That's right, we still got some of those small suckers. <sighs> gotta go, gotta go. Ain't the good, ain't the good. Oh, man. I'm running, you see me running? I don't even got my mask. Where the hell my mask? <sighs> Over there. Where you see it? Yeah, it's on the little. Ah. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. We're gonna be late. That alarm is loud. Yeah, she pushed me out the door. Now, what are they doing? So now they're gonna leave us a comment, let us know what their favorite record in that box was because it's doing really awesome stuff. They're gonna give us a like, a big old thumbs up because everybody likes a thumbs up because when you do good, you get good. And then they're going to subscribe, 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 subscribe. subscribe. Ring, Ring that, that bell, bell. ding, 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 ding. because we do really like this a lot. And we'll see you soon. No, you won't. Yes. No. Yes. What? Yes. We have an extra special box tomorrow that we already started working on. I don't know if we're gonna do that one. No. That box is too good. Ah. Yeah. We'll just stick it out in the section. It's the greatest box I ever priced in my entire life. I know. Everything was a white label promo. Everything was promo. It was crazy. It was, it was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. it was and all, super duper clean. It was all 60s and 70s stuff. It's great. That's right. I got a very important question. What's that? If you could be any animal in the wild kingdom, what animal would you be? An elephant. An elephant? An elephant. Why? Because they're big and they can stomp on anything in their way and they'll have big feet and I have little feet, so I want big feet. Oh yeah? I want big giant feet. What? Yes, I want big giant feet. Look, I have little feet. I want big giant feet. All right, all right. What about you? I want to be a groundhog. A groundhog? <laughs> or an ostrich. Those things run fast. Mmm. <laughs> You know what I want to be? What do you want to be? A hippopotamus. A hippopotamus? They're scary. I like big butts and I can't Nobody them. messes with the hippo. Have you seen them open their mouth? Yes. One of my guinea pigs yawned today. It looked like one. It was pretty scary. I'm just saying. Did you ever see their teeth though? They're huge. Yeah, they're massive. That's right. They use alligators as toothpicks. That's right. Yeah, well, in um, the, the video game movie. The Jumanji, mm -hmm. when when the hippo eats. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna yeah. be a freaking hippo when I grow up. What?